Hello everyone and welcome back to regalstamping.com. My name is Krista Thomas and today I'm going to be sharing with you a technique called the meandering card. And this is a technique that I demonstrated on board the Alaskan Cruise Incentive Trip this last week. And many of the ladies who saw this asked me to post this so that they wouldn't have to remember all of the dimensions and scoring spots and such. So I am going to show you how to make this card right here. This card features the new stamp set called Dazzling, sorry, Dashing Deer. I'm still learning my new names. Dashing Deer Bundle from the holiday catalog and it consists of all these wonderful framelits and this stamp set right here and the neat part of this card happens on the inside where you find these three pockets that can hold gift cards cash pictures tags whatever you would like to put in them so the technique is again the meandering card and to do this technique you need a piece of designer series paper that measures 6 by 10 inches so for today's demonstration I'm using a piece of the twinkle twinkle designer series paper from the annual catalog and I'm going to get my scoreboard in here and my first score is from the six inch side right down the middle at three inches. So just score all the way down. And then you rotate the paper to the 10 inch side and your first score is at two and a half all the way down, five inches all the way down and seven and a half inches all the way okay the next thing you need is a pair of scissors sorry I had to run and get my scissors and those three score lines across here are going to get cut in various spots I'm going to show you my my little cheat sheet here on one 10 inch side you cut the first line the first score line up to that horizontal line you skip the middle line on this side and then you cut the last one so let me do that really quick and it's kind of hard to see it sometimes in the light do the best you can you could use your paper trimmer if you like I think scissors with a longer blade work good and then you rotate this around so that from the other 10 inch side, you're cutting the middle line. Again, just up to that horizontal line. So let me do this one. So what you end up with is a piece of paper that's like this, okay? Now to fold this paper, let me get this out of here little better contrast that way to fold this you start on the side that has the two cuts okay and we're gonna start over here at the left and you fold up and I don't care how many times I do this I never get right on the edge and that's okay if yours turns out that way too okay it'll all work out so the first fold is up and then you go behind and then down okay and then behind and then up and behind and finally down okay when you're done pull open the front flap and the back flap. These are the parts that will get glued to the card later. Pull those around and put a paper clip around them because it's really easy 
to get confused as to what is a flap and what's a pocket, okay? So now you can see the three remaining parts that will become the pockets. But as you can see, they're open on the edges. So you could glue inside, you could put a little bit of glue in here, but I didn't want to do that because I want these pockets to fit gift cards if I so choose. And I want that pocket to remain as wide as possible for that purpose. So I punched out some everyday label shapes with the same Twinkle Twinkle designer series paper, some coordinating pieces. And I'm going to glue those flaps or these punches right around the open sides like this. This becomes a decorative element. You could certainly decorate it up more. Now you have two pockets that are open on the same edge and then one, the middle one is on the other. So while I've got this edge up, I'll put some more glue on another label and just sandwich that over this side. And I'm just kind of centering that from edge to edge. It's gonna hold the pocket closed enough to make it work. And you can kind of see why having those paper clips on there or that paper clip just helps keep, um, keep it all together and keeps those out of your way so that you don't get confused. So I think I'll use the, the green side of this tag. And that one will go right. There, that's the new soft seafoam color. Love it. Okay, so there are three pockets that are now sealed on the sides, right? I'm going to take a one inch circle punch and I'm gonna go less than half. So let's say maybe a third of the way and make a thumb hole. I'm gonna skip this one cause that's got the paper clips on it punch and I'm just going to try and center it from side to side. So now I have my three pockets all done. Okay. Now to put this in my card base, I'm going to unpaper clip and bring these flaps back around. I have my card base, which I've already assembled and I'll explain that in a minute. And I'm going to lay this where I want it. So I'm thinking right about there. I'm going to close the card. And when I close the card, that kind of pushes that little meandering card or book away from the edge or the fold a little bit. And that's what you want, because then it's gonna open and close right. It kind of gives the bulk some room. And then I'm going to put some glue on here, close it, flip it over, and now do the same thing from the other side, and close it. Okay, so when you open the card, you now have your three pockets, and to finish the card off, I've already assembled some inside panels, these measure three and three quarters by five inches. And I've added a little strip of the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper along the edge and use stamps from that da uh, dashing deer. I keep wanting to say dazzling deer, but it's not. They are dashing. Putting some glue along here and then centering this and what this does is covers those flaps from the meandering portion of the card gives you a place to sign write a sentiment a stamp a sentiment whatever and it gives you another spot to add a decorative element okay so now i want to get this one about even with my other side right about like that get some of that glue out of there 
And there is my meandering card using the Dashing Deer bundle. To make the front of this card, I simply took a four by five and a quarter inch piece of the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper that has the, the Knight of Navy and the little stars in it. I glued that to my card front. And then I took a piece of white, whisper white cardstock that I had already stamped and um, embossed with the softly falling embossing folder. And then I used a framelit to cut out this circle so that you could see the night sky. And then my deer is stamped with the large deer stamp right here. It kind of has a filigree design to it. I stamped that with basic gray ink on smoky slate, no, sorry, gray granite, the new light gray, using the framelit that coordinates with that stamp. So it would be this one right here. And then I popped that up on top using some dimensionals. The little flowers, I was able to cut all of them out at once using three of the four framelits. I love that they're giving us more than one of some of these framelits because it just makes things go faster when you can do multiples at a time, such as these corners here. You get two corners. So anyway, that's how I put the front of the card together. Let me show you a couple of more examples of things you could do with this meandering card technique. This is a similar card that I made. This time I used one of those corner elements or framelits on the front. And my deer is stamped in Knight of Navy on Whisper White. But on the inside, I wanted more pockets. So for this one, I have six pockets. And I simply made my meandering card twice. So to do that, you would need two pieces of six by 10. You fold them up like I showed you earlier in the video. And then you just lay them in here side by side. Now for this card, what I did was I used uh, the Make a Difference alphabet set and I stamped out my son, daughter-in-law, and grandkids' names so that each pocket I can add a customized gift card or to an appropriate store um, for each of them. And I can send this to them for Christmas and my shopping will be done. How fun is that? I could send um, money, whatever. But I kind of designed this size around the idea that it would be for gift cards. For a stocking stuffer idea, here's a smaller version. And I will have the measurements of this on my blog below this uh, video. But this one has the three pockets in it. I kept it very simple. I used the Starry um, Designer Series paper again from the Twinkle Twinkle package. I added a couple of deer and on the back I just left it green with the designer series paper. You could certainly dress this up. You could add a name across here. Um, the sky's the limit. I also think this would be a really fun project to do for Valentine's Day. You could tuck little love notes in. You could have little sayings and cute things out here. Maybe a small or thin piece of candy. So there are all kinds of ideas. And then I just used a piece of um, the sticky Velcro as a closure. So thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be sharing some more of the cards that I shared when I demoed this on the cruise. So if you'll look down at my blog, um, wrigglestamping.com, down below this video, I will show those photos as well. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.